This sample demonstrates remarkable durability. It simply does not tear easily, and the distinct snap confirms its high-quality fibers. Each line must be cut at a specific depth and angle to hold ink perfectly. No room for error. The hardened master die is placed into a hydraulic transfer press. It stamps its image onto a softer steel cylinder, creating a negative image. This secondary cylinder is also hardened. It is now the printing cylinder that will go onto the press. These digital patterns are translated into physical etching on another set of cylinders via computer-controlled diamond scribes. Easy, bring it down slow. Watch your, your alignment right there. Okay, set it down. The sheet passes under intense UV drying lamps. The ink sets quickly to prevent any smudging in the next stages. The stack is moved on a conveyor to the next stage, offset printing. The environment is clean and humidity controlled. The process is faster here. The green ink is transferred via a rubber blanket onto the paper surface, not pressed in. It checks for microscopic defects, ink density, color accuracy, and perfect alignment of all features.
perfect sheets continue to a machine that applies the color shifting 100 ink in the bottom right corner using a special metallic ink. Strips are reoriented automatically. Another blade cuts horizontally, creating perfect grids of individual, uncirculated $100 bills. Any stack that's even a hair too thick or thin is rejected. Consistency is key for automated teller machines worldwide. A secure, non-removable glue is applied. Any tampering would tear the band. The machine doesn't just shred, it pulverizes the paper into confetti-sized particles no larger than a few millimeters. The blue and red security fibers are visible in the pile of confetti. Even destroyed, the material is controlled. The confetti is compressed into dense, non-identifiable bricks for recycling or secure disposal, often burned for energy. how the security thread works. It's not just a strip, it has a magnetic signature and fluoresces under UV. The purpose of the color shifting ink. Tiny multi-layer flakes inside the ink align to reflect different light wavelengths. It worked. The stabilization matrix is holding the video feed. 
Excellent. Let's start the data analysis. このクリーム色の紙は手触りがとてもいいですね。えー、でもこの青いのは少しかかすぎると思います。<笑>私は A さんの意見に賛成ですね。Life cycle. New notes are dispensed to commercial banks via the Fed's cash offices. Shot of bundles being loaded into smaller bank armored cars. My goodness, is this the new polymer note? It feels quite different. <laughs> Yes, they just came out. Enjoy. The note enters the wild, used at a farmer's market, tucked into a birthday card, deposited at an ATM, carried in a wallet across borders. Eventually, it returns to a Fed sorting machine, worn and soft. Its journey ends as it's deemed unfit and shredded. The shredded material is compressed into a brick, just like the rejects from the BEP. The circle is complete. Another day of producing trust begins. A simple idea executed with impossible precision. A promise printed daily. Technical schematics overlay the footage, showing the engineering principles behind each step. This film depicts the actual processes of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing and the Federal Reserve System.
That's how I know it's real. <laughs> The counterfeit lacks the precise color gradient of the real ink. The machine maps the difference in a flashing red overlay. Police, get down! Clear! The paper feels slick, it has no security thread, and the green ink is dull. It doesn't shift when tilted. The destruction rate in the European sector is spiking. Acknowledged. Rerouting the Asian shipment now. Increase print order for $100 by 5% for Q3 to meet international demand. The system adjusts. Here is the weekly deposit. Thank you. Good work this month. Here are your US dollars. When the power goes out and digital systems fail, Physical cash is the only reliable backup, ensuring transactions can continue smoothly. This bill represents more than just currency. It is a symbol of enduring trust in the American. When currency loses its value, chaos ensues. But here in the States, the dollar remains strong, printed with precision and trust. We need to decide who to feature in the next series. It's less about who and more about the values they represent. We may need to leave. The recurring spiral motif here suggests a universal concept of eternity. And the way the contemporary artists use these notches are much clearer. I can definitely distinguish the denominations now. That's <laughs> great to hear. We aimed for maximum distinction on the edges. How about this pattern here? Very good. See how the light catches that edge. Now, move to the next section. You're not just drawing, you're carving the face of the nation. Fresh coffee, get your coffee here. Yeah. Best prices in the market, come look. 200 shillings for the sunglasses. It's the world's de facto currency. the rise of digital money, but is this the end of physical currency? The data is undeniable, we're going cashless. Not so fast, there are serious risks to consider. The authentication is instant. Look at the tracking data from the passive chip. It seems the spread is concentrating here in the north sector. It does. It's tougher than people think. 